Okay, so here's one of the things that I really love about the app, um, this little iPad app. So this, this app that lets you control uh, Tractor from the iPad. The actual app itself costs five dollars. That's it, five measly bucks. And what it does is it lets you create your own, you, they give you a program to create your own custom templates and layouts so you can make this screen look like whatever you want and then map those functions to be anything you want. Um, it uses something called OSC. The app is called Touch OSC, and it uses OSC, which is like the next generation of MIDI. It allows music devices and software and hardware to communicate with each other um, using a computer-based protocol. So it's sort of like MIDI, but it's a hell of a lot better. It's a lot more flexible, and it's, it's really the way things are going. Uh, it's also an open standard. So what I've done is I've quit Tractor, and uh, I've opened Logic. So I've got Logic running across my two screens here. Um, I'm still in the same program on the iPad, so all I'm going to do is go up in here, and I'm going to go to where it says Layout. I'm going to change the layout from this one to Logic Pad, and then hit Done. And now it's a totally different interface, um, which is connected basically to Logic. Um, these are all channels within Logic, so as soon as I hit Play, it starts to play what I've been working on in Logic. And it's got all the faders and logic here. So now, you think that's pretty cool, but this is just the mixer here. So we can adjust the sends on the mixer. I'm just gonna stop this so the music doesn't overpower. Um, this is the channel strip, so this lets you set up all the control, all the effects that are on this particular channel strip. You've got an equalizer, and all this coordinates to what's going on on the screen too. Um, if I open the software instrument, I hit the button for software instrument here, <clears throat> it gives me dials that allow you to control um, the virtual synth that's currently running on the screen. And as soon as I go back from software instrument to mixer, you see the whole interface of the software changes too. So, um, play stuff. Now let's say I want to mute that little pluck that's coming in. Uh, all I have to do is find where it is. Now I can just hit mute here, and it's gone. It's all real time. And all this is interacting directly with what's going on in Logic, so kind of cool, huh? There you go.